My brother asked me to help him shoot a scene for a movie up in Reykjadalur and I thought that's a great opportunity to do a hike video for Time Warp Iceland, so of course I said yes. We decided to meet in Reykjadalur and what he didn't tell me was there is actually a shortcut with free parking. But shortcuts are not always the best way. Hi, my name is Carl, I'm a native Icelander, please let me explain. I went to the tourist parking lot as directed by Google Maps. It cost about $10 for 6 hours. That's how long I stayed and how much I paid. I recommend you set up the app before you go there. You can also park a little bit further down the road and save yourself a little bit of money, but the hike will last that much longer. You need to stay on the paths because there are holes with near boiling water everywhere and people have gotten seriously hurt by accidentally stepping into them. So watch your step, even if you are on a path. Careful, that's poop. There is an added benefit if you pay for parking. You get access to toilets. You just have to remember to use them before you set off. I didn't. The profits are also used to keep the area in decent condition and the money is well spent. I really don't like walking uphill, but man, this place is gorgeous. Really makes you forget how far you have to go. <laughs> While I struggled up the hill, my brother's crew was parking in the secret parking lot. They had a nice stroll down a steady decline at first. These were shots for his movie, taken on an expensive cinema camera. So let's make them cinematic. Peter McKinnon, Potato Jet and the like. They might tell you that you don't need an expensive equipment to make a cinematic video. While that might be true, it sure does help. The view over Kveragerði, which foreigners usually call Hurdigurði, was absolutely breathtaking, except for that white blob. Go back if you didn't see it, but I bet you did. And I had to stop every once in a while to remind myself I was not having a heart attack and I just needed to breathe calmly. And that's when it started to rain. It was kind of welcome, to be honest, I was sweating. There was quite a bit of traffic that day, which was surprising. It was a Wednesday afternoon. It is important to note here that conditions were really good. It's not always like this. It can get really muddy, wet and slippery, especially in snow. And this is where I'm going to point out the importance of good waterproof hiking boots. And while you are close to town, it is really easy to get lost. In fact, people have gotten lost here and had to be rescued. If you are scared of heights, you might not feel comfortable. There are no hand railings and it's really easy to get sucked into the gorgeous views. If afraid of heights and this is not going to be your favorite place. I don't know, he'll be fine. You might notice that by this point I am starting to be able to string together sentences or two without having to catch a breath, and pretty soon we'll be starting to see the final destination. I thought the uphill portion of the trip was all behind me now, but I could not have been more wrong. Not only because after this bridge there's another steep incline up this hill, but because on my way back I took the secret shortcut, which is a nice stroll downhill when you're going to the Lagoon River, but hills only tend to be down in one direction. But I was not too worried about that. I was starting to enjoy the hike and I could see the destination. I was starting to look forward to getting into the river. I know you are wondering, so yes, I did walk back and go get my phone. I always feel kinda ridiculous shooting a footage of myself walking. However, here we are. This place is every bit as relaxing and gorgeous as you may have seen in the photos, but that is not the whole story. There are no dressing rooms. I was gonna go pee there. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll pee in the river. Don't tell anyone. This is where thinking ahead pays off. I had put my trunks on at home, so I could just get undressed and get into the river. I don't really care who sees my naked body, but apparently you're not allowed to swing your bits around. You are allowed to show your nipples, which is fortunate for me because I have two of them. But females can do that too. So is this place worth it? Let me put it this way. I put a lot of effort into my videos. Stay tuned for the Carl and Carl production movie, The River. You arrive. You take a long desired leak in nature and nobody is watching. You see this beautiful river, it's warm. So you get down to your underwear, you leave your clothes free of any worries that 
Somebody might come and take them. You're the only one there, except for these two girls just upstream. They give you a look, so you work up some courage to go talk to them. Your penis gets a little bit in the way, but you don't care. you know snap out of it well this does look cozy and it is cozy it's not as cozy as it might seem the current constantly tries to carry you away how <laughs> and the floor is just rocks almost like nature couldn't care less about your fragile little feet walking around becomes very difficult so this is the only place in the world where it is acceptable to wear flip-flops just make sure that the current doesn't carry them away from you just remember, you have to walk all the way back and whether you took the secret route or the other one, the secret route is uphill and the other one is very long. So you know, just enjoy your trip. So which route do I recommend? The normal hike is 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers. The secret hike is just under a mile or 1.5 kilometers. But the road is terrible. You need to go very slow if you want to keep your exhaust pipe attached to your car. The hill is hard going back, so you need to put in considerable effort and in my opinion the normal route is much more scenic and worth taking even if there wasn't a geothermal river at the end of it. I have put some links into the description you're free to use including the stats for my hike on Strava. Make sure you subscribe I'm still trying to hunt for those northern lights but the you know this been cloudy like for a week now this video was supposed to be about the northern lights but you know make sure uh, you come back next week and I'll hopefully have something. So yeah, have a, have a great trip.